So start a new Excel that is imports the data. So it gets data from file from workbook. And if we go to downloads, Titanic data set imports. Okay, so we have the data sets. Click on the Titanic data set and then click on transform. The first thing we want to do is let's check the number of rows. The number of rows 1310. Okay. When we refresh, we discover that there is a null value. The leg is exploit and see where the null value is. Okay, there is a null value, there is nothing in it. So one of the key things is we need to remove that null values. So how do you delete null values? Simply uncheck it and then click on OK. So now if we check the number of rows again, it's 1309, which is the correct number of rows. Now the next thing is we want to check the columns. We want to remove the columns that we don't need. We don't need both columns. Boot, hold down shift and press body and press home and remove columns. We also, based on analysis, we don't need cabin column. These are the we remove these columns because from the from the data exploration we did, we discovered that we don't need these particular columns. Then for our analysis, also we don't need this column. Okay, so based on analysis for today, we say we don't need these columns. And we also don't need the name of the individuals in our analysis. We just want to check the factors that affect survival in this particular data set. So let's start. Now, one of the first things we want to do, we want to create a primary key because there is no primary key. So to create a primary key, click on index, click on add column, go to index column, then select from one. We have it here, we move it to the beginning. That will serve as our index. And in analysis, it is better to keep your primary key as text, not as numbers. So right click on this and go to change type and set it as text. Good. Now the next thing is the P class. Now the P class is a categorical data. We have three classes. We have one, two, and three. One means first class, two means middle class, and then three means low class. So we need to change it to the different categories, the name of the different categories. So how do we do that? We do what is we use what is called conditional column. So click on conditional column. In this custom column, let's call it new. Let's call it new P class. And we're looking at P class. If P class is equal to one, right? The person and it was in first class and add clause if p class is equal to two the person was in a middle class else the person was in low class if we click ok to create this additional column for us we shift it to this point so very good let's check when we when we when we filter only the low class, we have low class, so it's working. We cancel that step. Good. We have new class, so we don't need the class anymore. So we click on remove and we change this data type to text. Good. We do the same thing with the survive. Survive, we have one representing the person survived. Zero means the person did not survive. So we'll call it new survived. So survive is equal to one. That means the person survived. Else the person did not survive. We click OK, we have this, we move it to this point and we delete the survive column and we edit, change the data type to text. Okay, so we look at this um, sex column, we have male and female, it is okay. Then in the age column, we have the different ages and then we have the null, the blank 
So we need to work on this blank. We need to replace the blanks with 28, which is the median. So we we'll right click on that column, we we'll click on replace values. We need to replace null with 28. And if we click on OK, we have this particular outline. Very good. So we need to convert this to range using the minimum and the maximum. We we'll take pages from zero and we'll have all the way to 80. Okay, so we'll analyze this data on an interval and we'll use the conditional column. So we'll use interval of 10. So let's call this new underscore age. If the age is less than or equal to 10, then we'll say the person is between 0 to 10 years. So we'll do it an interval of 10, so from 0 to 9. So if the person is less than or equal to 9, if the person is between 0 to, to 9 years, we we'll add column if the age of the person is less than or equal to 19. The person is between 10 and 19 years. If the age of the person is less than or equal to 29, in between 20 and 29, and if the age is less than or equal to 39, person is between 30 to 39 years if the age of the person is less than or equal to 49 the person is between 40 to 49 years if the age is less than or equal to 59 the person is between 50 to 59 years if the age of the person 69 person is between 60 to 69 years Eighty to eighty-nine years. So let's delete this last one. Delete it. It's supposed to be eighty to eighty-nine years. So we click on OK. Let's confirm the number of rows again. It's supposed to be one three zero nine. One three zero nine. Correct. So we remove the new H. We remove the H column. Then we change the new H column to text. Change it to text. Good. At this point, this data is clean for analysis. So let's rename this table to Titanic underscore clean. Okay. And then let's load, close and load. This will load into Excel. Let's start with the analysis. 